Everybody out there on Team Becky Pam, man, I appreciate the love. Boom, 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 boom. I appreciate the support. We out here, man, 33, man, 33 years of prison stores, man. We rolling, we rolling, man. We trying to educate and save some young people, man. They out here, they wilding. They going crazy, man. This dude down here just got shot yesterday. One of them like 20 years old, man. And I can assure you, man, it's just a tragedy all the way around the board because whoever did it, he in trouble. He just don't know how much trouble he in. You know, uh, his family going to regret it. He going to regret it. Then the, the victims, they going to regret it, man. You know, it's just it's just, it's just bad, man. It's bad, man. These youngers out here is wilding, man. So we got to try to educate them. We got to try to give them some type of knowledge, man. And let them know the type of life that they signing up for. They signing up for this type of life, man. And don't even know it. You know, so, uh, you know, I feel like that's part of our job, man. To let them know what they getting into, man. So they can't say they wasn't warned. They can't say they didn't know, you know. And if they choose to, uh, you know, accept this, man. And, and, and choose this type of life, man. Then God bless them, man. God bless them. Because God knows I don't want no more pasta. <laughs> You understand me? I don't want no more parts of it. So, you know, this is part of our mission, man. This is part of TBP Nation, man. We just trying to educate them, man. Because like I tell y'all all the time, man, misinformed people misinformed people. So when we got this information, man, we got to share this information. And then we let this information marinate with a man and see what they do. Let them make their choice after that. You know, let them make their choice after that. But in the meantime, in between time, man, we're going to keep on pushing. We're going to keep on trying to uh, spread this message, man. So salute to TBP. Everybody out there who rock with me, everybody out there who been uh, supporting the platform and sharing this uh, this information, man. Man, we've been on this Fleece Johnson thing because I truly believe, without a shadow of a doubt, man, that Fleece Johnson can play a major role in deterring some of these young people from going to prison, man. When they witness and see the type of life that he had to live, the type of life that he did live, the choices that he did make, uh, the things that he had to go through, the things that uh, he had to survive. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt, man, no matter what anybody say, man, you know, he survived for a reason. You know what I'm saying? He ended up on YouTube sharing this information for a reason. You know, whether he know it or not, or anybody know it, man, the, 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 the stuff that he's sharing can save some lives. The stuff that he's sharing can help somebody not want to ever be in that position. They just got to hear it, and they got to see it. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, man, you know, with these uh, reaction videos that we doing to him, that they reach the right eyes, they, they, they go in the right ears, and they have the right effect on the people that they need to have the effect on, man. So, uh, you know, I'm going to do one more about it, man, you know, because uh, y'all just kept on telling me, man, about uh, certain things about, you know, that I ain't listened to or I ain't heard all of it. So I'm going to do another one on them, man. So hopefully uh, y'all talk to me in the comments. The numbers have been going down. The first one was the biggest one. So, you know, I, I guess y'all getting burnt out with it. And um, I do think it's fascinating, you know, what he went through. But I can say I know a lot of cats that went through the same thing and carried it the same way. It's just fascinating to me that it's in a different state. So it just let me know that this stuff is universal. It's universal. It's not, you know, just in one segregated area. I've only been in the prison in Virginia, but it's just to her that the same type of thing and the same type of characters still exist in other prisons. Yeah, it's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we're going to get to this part that y'all kept on asking me about, man. And we're going to see what's going on with this, man. So, y'all, salute, TBP. Let's get it. I ain't take all kinds of shit get me frustrated for real. I'm letting him tell me, direct me right here because I'm getting frustrated. And just to talk about this shit is to relive it. And to relive it is to all your bitterness and frustration come right back out. And my whole day be fucked up. Well, let's, uh, I'm gonna let you.
let you get back to that. Uh, what happened to your teeth? Um, I got in my teeth. I had a full set of teeth. I mean, perfect. Pure white is perfect. Now, <laughs> Of the real please I got I got I got to call you on that one because when I first seen you in that interview that they did at uh wherever you was and you first was talking all the booty wall yeah, and all that stuff, man, your teeth won't know perfect white. <laughs> no sir, I go look again, I can stand a straightener, I can stand to be corrected, but no, nah, bro, no nah, man, them jokes look the crazy. You understand me? So uh I don't know, unless I miss something, y'all tell me, I don't know. Yeah, that joint I seen, yeah, them jokes look the crazy. Now, I ain't got no perfect jokes, but I'm telling you right now, you ain't had no perfect jokes neither. But you know, I don't know. Let's just see what's going on though. Well, I'm gonna get it, I'm in a hole, so I'm getting in a fight with this, this nigga they say been in the army. Everybody tell me, don't fight this nigga, man. This nigga no judo, karate. I said, fuck all that shit. <laughs> nigga, I try whoever. You disrespect me, right? You just got to whoop me. So when we came out of my cell, I ran up on this nigga. And I saw him. <laughs> man, I eat this nigga with anything I got, bro. That nigga told me, oh, baby, you got to come with something better than that. <laughs> and the nigga, the nigga come over with somebody on me shit. And that day, you know, he got me, I try to hit him and, you know, like the way we grow up, you pop a motherfucker, just scoop him. He down, it's over. Man, I try to scoop this nigga and he got me in the head like, bro. I mean, the perfect motherfucking headlock that I couldn't get out of. I mean, perfect lock. <laughs> and he was choking me. He choked me so hard, I fought it, bro. <laughs> and that's when I panicked, right? Now, this nigga's killing me. And all these motherfuckers standing around. I'm waiting on the motherfucker breaking shit up. Motherfuckers standing around just looking and shit, right? So I beat it. That's what's gonna happen. I told y'all, man. Hey, listen, man. <laughs> How many times have I told y'all TVP ain't no SOS, man? Ain't nobody coming to save you, man. You can literally be in that joint getting killed, man, and they gonna sit there and watch. The dudes ain't gonna get involved because that's not their business, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not their business. Ain't nobody going to call the CO. Ain't nobody going to do none of that. If somebody getting crushed and getting slaughtered, getting stabbed, getting hit up, getting choked out, getting stomped. If somebody say, CO, CO, he doing this to him, doing that to him. He going to get it. He next. He next on the menu. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just how it go in prison. That's just how it goes. So like I say, man, you know, you, you, this is the world that you enter, man, when you go up in here. You know what I'm saying? You're on your own. No mama, no daddy, no uh, 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 police, nobody coming and say, hey, 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 get up. up. Man, they ain't doing that. Maybe when it's over, <laughs> if you survive, maybe when it's over. But nah, when, when it's in progress, nah, ain't nobody going to save you, bro. Ain't nobody going to save you on your own. He said, <laughs> hopefully he said, boy, was choking him so hard he fought it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he put some of that green beret stuff on you, man. That's like one of the worst feelings in the world, man. You swing on somebody and realize, man, big mistake. <laughs> this joker, this joker got more than what I thought he had. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
One of them big, messy motherfuckers come out of the military. They got a lot of them motherfuckers in prison. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers come out of the army and shit, right? And so, when I seen the damage that I did, he got 32 stitches. Mm. I said, God damn. Shit. That's what I want to start doing, biting these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and so, up in this joint. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I know a dude that used to... I know a dude used to bite me. He used to bite people too, man. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> That's exactly what he gonna do. He gonna... Hey, you swing on me. <laughs> if he get close to you, he gonna bite your face off, man. I'm telling you. And I knew another dude, man. He used to use his head, man. He had this big forehead, man. And he just butt you. Boom, boom. Man, I mean, he was knocking Kess out with that joint. Breaking dude's nose and everything with this head button joint, man. Oh, man. Fleece, man. Fleece, fleece off the chain, man. Fleece. I'm gonna start biting these. <laughs> ah, let's go, let's go. Oh, the next fight I got into, I beat this motherfucker, beat his girl off. Mm. So when I, you know, in the whole... We get to go to the prison hospital to fill out a, you know, where we want to go. So somebody went there and come back and told me that they seen the dude that I was talking about biting his ear off. They say, man, he had both ears. <laughs> told me I was lying. I said, bullshit, I ain't lying by now. I knew I beat it off. But when I seen it for myself, I told myself. Next time I bite one of these some bitches, he ain't gonna get it back. I'll swallow that motherfucker. <laughs> I give it back to him, right? <laughs> so I got in the fight back three days later, right? Did the same thing. I picked this motherfucker whole side of his face off, right? And swallowed it. I bit none of my Hey, man. I, I, hey, listen. I know this stuff ain't funny, man, but I'm telling you, man. Hey, man. This man is biting people ears all biting their face all and he's swallowing it he's swallowing it i'm telling you man this is what i'm telling you man prison man it, i'm telling you man it will turn you into an animal man because of the conditions because of where you at and what you got to go through you understand i'm saying you you, you can run into so many different type of dudes in there, man. You run into dudes that can show no rumble. Like I say, you can run into dudes, no karate, judo, uh, green berets, uh, 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 what's the other one, Navy SEALs. and Oh, you don't know. Now you got this new stuff. They coming in there with this MMA. You know, you think you rumbling. They done put you in an arm bar trying to break your arm, man. You got to use whatever you got to use, man. I'm telling you, it's survival of the fittest in there, you know. And when I'm listening to them, it may be different from what y'all heard to what I'm listening to for real is, you know, survival, you know, or the fittest, a warrior for real, you know, a survivor. He he going to do what he got to do. He going to do what he got to do. But most dudes get in there, like I say, when they under that type of, they fold. They scared of that type of confrontation. They scared of that type of physicality because they see what's happening. Man, a dude see him bite somebody face off, man, I'm telling you, that that's why he telling you that. Oh, I ain't had to take no boot in there. They just give it up. I go up to them and I say, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. What you think popping in their head? Man, that's the joke of the bit dude. Ew, off. He bit dude face off. That got to be the hard way. They don't want no parts of it. <laughs> they don't want no part. They too scared to even try it. So that's the thing that popping in the head have already created the feel factor. He created the fear factor in the people from the observers, the ones looking. Like he say, when he's rumbling and doing this and doing that, ain't nobody coming to save you. Ain't nobody trying to help him. No, they not. You know what I'm saying? But they looking and they observing and they understand what's going on. This, man, this, this joke is savage. 
You know what I'm saying? So just imagine the younger ones coming in there that ain't been through nothing or nothing. They new in prison and they seeing this and they hearing about what he already done and they seeing him do this. And then he pulling up on them talking about the easy way or the hard way. Man, them jokers is scared to death, man. All they thinking about is their face getting bit off. They ain't even thinking about what else they giving up. You know, so they submit. So yeah, he ain't had to take it. All he had to do was talk. All he had to do was talk because he done already put the fear of God in him. Or should I say the fear of fleece in him. And they ain't want the hard way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this joker won't play him, man. He was surviving by any means necessary. Yeah, man. Any means necessary, man. Survival of the fittest, man. <laughs> it, <laughs> but, hey, look. Ain't no rules in the penitentiary. Only rule is to survive. That is it. The only rule. Period. I beat another motherfucker's nose off. I, I beat a motherfucker's top of him and his bottom of him. Tore it off of him. <laughs> this shit is documented. It's recorded and documented. <laughs> I done shredded these motherfuckers with my mouth, right? Then it got to the point where then nobody won't fight me because they'll say, nigga, all you gonna do is bite them all, fuck. You got damn right, I'm gonna bite the shit out of you, right? So the commissioner, her name was LaDonna Thompson. Out of uh, the correction came to here in Kentucky. She come to the prison. She say, hey, buddy, Frank for set me up here because they want me to tell you the next time you bite somebody, Chair, I, you got to go, man. I'm gonna live to see you not live. There's no way I'm walking around like that and you still alive, man. <laughs> they better than me, boy. Good lord, man. It's, it's no way. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, man. Mm. Mm. Said it was against the law. She said, I don't know what he did. 
But we have a, a, a thing there saying he's not allowed no key. That's some matter of violation of the law. <clears throat> what they was telling me is that when I hear teeth, before I use them to fight with them, that now my teeth is equivalent to you just giving me a gun. Give me a set of dentures, it's like giving me a 357 man. Ain't no way, man. I don't, hey, I, I'm listening to him and I got to go with what he say because this is his life. He lived his life. But in my mind, all logic tell me that how you going to take a man's teeth out, man? Because if he biting somebody or whatever, if that's his survival tactics in prison with. So what you going to do to all these dudes is pushing the Bethlehem into people? What you going to cut their arm off? No, man, you don't supposed to be able to do that, man. You don't supposed to be able to do that. He should have a lawsuit, man, long as I-95, man. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I, I, man, I'm glad. I thank God that I'm out here. I thank God that I survived what I survived. But I'm going to tell you right now, if that was me and I would have been doing all of this biting or whatever, if that was my survival tactic and you take me and chain me down and then I wake up and I ain't got no teeth in my mouth, man, you're going to have to kill me. <laughs> you're going to have to kill me. You, Whoever called that shot, this is the one I'm going for first. Hey, I come in there and tell my hey, buddy, up, oh, man, you're going to have to kill me. you going to have to kill me. Come on, man. That's forever. You done took a part of me that, that God gave me. That, man, no, man. They tripping. Man, and y'all, hey, man, y'all wonder why he was crazy, why he, man, I don't, I don't know if this was the reason, obviously he had some things going on before this happened, but, man, come on, man, that's, no, man, no, I don't, hey, <laughs> when you were in prison, man, this survival of the fittest, if that's the only way that you got, or that is an effective way you got to protect yourself, or to, 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 you in battle, man, somebody, when you fighting in prison, somebody try to kill you, man. They ain't trying to hurt you. Now they trying to kill you, man. And if I can bite you or bite your face off to keep you from killing me, then that's what's going to happen. But then you're going to turn around and take what you want, man. Take my teeth out? Shh. <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah. Fleece, you, you a bad boy, man. You was a bad one. Ain't nothing I can do about it. You know, like in prison, when you file lawsuits, everything's in our is free. And I'm good at filing suits, right? I can file big one. Suits. But in prison, the paper is free, the typewriter is free, the computer is free, the law books. We got a, a whole law office in our. Out here, the shit costs, so I ain't got that money. It ain't free in Virginia no more. It used to be. It used to be somewhat free. You could file an indigent pack and say you don't have the money to file it. They're going to check your account or whatever. But they still take, to my understanding, they still take money off. And then when you do get some money in, they take a certain amount of money off of your money when you do get money in until that fee is paid for you filing the lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? 1983 form or whatever the case may be. They going to take money, man. I told you before, at the beginning, all that stuff was free, man. You know, which they say that your people pay taxes for. But now, man, they the monetized prison, so everything costs money. No matter what it is. Everything. I mean, you got, man, they got toilet paper or now on commissary. You got to buy your own toilet paper because they only going to give you enough to last you for, for whatever. You know what I'm saying? Not enough to last you for what you need. At one point in time, when I first came to prison, you run out of toilet paper, you ask for some more, they give you some. You know, whatever the case, nah, not no more. They give you a certain amount of supposed to last you till they pass something out. I think it's like a whole week. You know what I'm saying? You'll get two rolls or something like that. So if you run out, you run out. You know what I'm saying? You run out, you run out. You have to buy it. They're going to tell you, you know, they got toilet paper and commissary. But, man, this, this, this is crazy, man. This is, yeah, man. You know, I know dude might have put some people through some stuff while he was in there. But you can rest assured, administration put him through some stuff as well, man. I couldn't do nothing but walk around with no teeth. Mm. I don't give a shit, though. I'm who I am. You're a wild. You know what I'm saying? I'm a nigga for real, so I can tolerate whatever. All right, Fleece, you was uh, 
Tell me about the warden that, uh... Hey, man, Fleece, man, you, hey, Fleece say he is that dude, man. He say he is that dude, man. I'm telling you, man. He say he is that dude. Uh, crazy, though, man. That's crazy, man. I just can't imagine that, man, that, you know, these people would strap you down, man, and take your teeth out, man. But then, you know, when I look at it, you know, that's another state. I don't know. But then also, too, they was doing some whole lot of flim flammery around here too man because you could be going off and going crazy it's, i guess you can you can equate that to the, the equivalent of taking your teeth out because if they send you to the mental institution if you got to go to the mental institution to get a psychological evaluation because they saying you being out of control this that or the third and they get you uh committed to go take a, a mental evaluation man them people get to putting you on thorazine man they get to putting you on medicine man and if you playing crazy or acting crazy or whatever, trying to beat your time, trying to get your case back in court or whatever. Man, you end up in the mental institutions, man. They get to juicing you up with all that medicine, man. If you want crazy, you end up being crazy. You know what I'm saying? I've seen many of dudes like that, man. They end up walking around now like zombies, man, when they get out. And they're in the penitentiary now stuck. You know, whatever survival skills they had, whatever type of, you know, uh, 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 Swag or anything there is gone. You know what I'm saying? Remember, I told y'all go back and look at the story I told y'all about Archie. You know what I'm saying? They juiced Archie up with all of that thaws in and that medication, man. And Archie won't never the same no more. Never. So, you know, some of this stuff they talking about doing to human beings, human beings, it's forever. You know what I'm saying? You alter the person's life forever, man. You know what I'm saying? But yet at the same time, when you out on the street and you do something and they lock you up in prison, you know, they'll lock you up in prison because you don't alter people's life. You don't kill somebody, you did. You don't alter their life. And the penalty is they're going to take your life. They put you in prison forever. You know what I'm saying? But y'all is in here doing the same thing, altering people's life, taking people's teeth out, juicing people up on medicine, giving them a habit. Now they slow, they moving slow, they talking slow, they, they got slow reactions. Man, it's all torture, man. <laughs> It's all torture, man. It's torture, man, to human beings, man. You know what I'm saying? And they doing it in the way that they're doing it. They're making it like it's legal. They can do it. But if you did the same exact thing to somebody on the street, you would be locked up for it. You will be locked up for it. You know what I'm saying? So it's a double-edged sword, man. It cuts both ways, man. But the, 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 the bottom line is, man, I'm telling y'all, man, if these videos right here, these reaction videos, these videos that I've been doing, you know, for the past couple of years, if this don't sink in your head, man, what a horrible, horrible uh, uh, experience prison is, man, then I don't, I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what young people out here could be doing in the street that or going through that they feel it's so bad that they got to make these type of plays or make these type of moves. When you have this knowledge, now this is what these videos for, for you to have that knowledge of what's on the other side. What's so bad out in the free world that you can't fix, that you can't wake up tomorrow and work on it, that you can't, you know, wait for it to get better, that you would rather live this type of life? Because when you make these type of moves out here on the street and do this crazy stuff, this is the type of life that's waiting for you. And you, you, you telling me that what's going on out here, this is better? Man, shh. Come on, man. Who out here on the street going to scrap you down and take all your teeth out? <laughs> huh? Who going to do that? Who out here on the street is going to take you and put you in a mental institution and shoot up all these drugs in you and then let you back out and have you walking around the streets like a zombie? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. This 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 is torture stuff in here, man. This is torture stuff in here, man. You know, yeah, this is torture, man. But um, you know, like I say, people can say what they want about Fleece, man. I don't know him. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm getting a, a gist of who he is from doing these videos. But man, if if nothing else, I know he's a survivor. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, it ain't a whole lot of people that could have survived what I done heard so far. It ain't a whole lot of people that could have survived that without losing their mental. Not saying he had it all from the beginning, but without losing their mental, without losing their life, without losing their, you know, their 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 ability to even, you know, function in any capacity. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a lot of pressure, man. That's daily, daily, daily pressure on you every day. 
You know what I'm saying? And the way he living is that's that's how he going every day. It could be some war. It could be him biting somebody's face off. It could be him, you know, running up on somebody. It could be him fighting the police. It could be him going to war against the administration. Come on, man. Come on, man. You got this. This 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 a, this is this real life, man. This is prison, man. This is what you young fellas is in for when you out here popping pistols, joining gangs, robbing. You know, being you want to be a thug. This 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 is where the thugs at. This is where the gorillas at. <laughs> yeah, this is where the grizzlies at. Come on, man. You don't want no parts of this, man. Real talk. You don't want no parts of it, man. Tell you, man, that joint was starting to get to me. <laughs> I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but my whole disposition changed, man. It was getting to me. Just telling me, taking somebody's teeth off. I stopped. You know, I put myself in those positions. Like, man, they took my teeth off. Man, man, I don't want to. God, man, I don't want to come home. I won't get back. <laughs> That's what I want. I won't get back. You know, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Until they just take me up out of here. Cause come on, man. No, man. This is crazy, man. This is, prison life is crazy, man. That's just the bottom line, man. But anyway, man. Y'all, let me know what y'all think, man. In the comments, man. Please talk to me in the comments, man. Let's let's run these numbers up, man. You know, and um, we gotta get this message out, man. Even more so than ever, man. Cause you know, like I say. People need to understand what they what they in for, man. They need to understand what they in for when they out here and they're making these bad decisions, man. This is life that is waiting for you, man, if you want it. You know, hopefully you don't. But, uh, you know, like I say, man, there's a blessing in every lesson, man. And I'm going to tell y'all what the blessing is in this lesson. The blessing is that you, you take it for what it's worth. The blessing is you got a Fleece Johnson out here telling you this. So you won't have to experience it yourself. Let that sink in, man. That's a blessing, man. That's a blessing. You understand? Let it sink in, man. But anyway, TBP, man, y'all be safe, be smart, make good decisions, man. Talk to me in the comments, man. I see y'all in the morning mud, man. Be safe, be smart, make good decisions, man. And boom, 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 boom. Duck them hooks, man. Go to prison, man. They might try to take your teeth. Boom.